Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're getting ready to work on page five, and I just noticed that this was still in the frame, so I'm going to get my computer goodies out of the way, and we're going to get started. Page five. This is going to be a fun one. It's, it's got a, some combinations of things that I've done before, but um, it's going to be a little bit, I guess it's, I would say it's a new page, <laughs> after having all that flip-flopping about. Um, this is uh, the two patterns that we used in page four, so we're pulling those back in. So um, if you want to go ahead and go through your patterns and pick those out, set them aside, that's definitely what we're going to use on this uh, layout. So our base page is uh, eight inches tall by ten, and then we're going to have this nice big pocket. And this is, let me double check, eight and a quarter by nine. So it is eight, eight and a quarter. <laughs> yes, eight and a quarter across by nine inches. You're going to score a half inch on three of those sides. And this is going to be a very large pocket that goes um, installed flush to the left hand side. I'm having, I'm having a day, guys. Just been super busy. Had a had to do a funeral today and those are always emotionally exhausting and uh but something we've got to do uh and i had to take my mom to the phlebotomist it's it's always something <laughs> so i'm way behind today doing some catching up not that anybody cares but anyway here we are so again um eight and a quarter by nine score half inch on three sides gonna install flush on the left hand side of page five and then after I get this page done I'm going to actually do some reveals so I'm going to take a break in the album and do some uh, new product reveals so it's going to be kind of exciting um, so we've got this large pocket now um, and now we're going to install a smaller pocket that's going to have its opening on the top this opens uh, on the right hand side this is going to open on the top side okay I had to think, think this through I cut my papers the other day and like I said I'm having kind of a day so my brain's a little scrambled so I'm catching up um, I'll tell you the measurements of this little pocket just a second just a second okay this pocket is I thought I had it written on here but I guess I don't it is Five inches across. What a weird measurement. Why did I do that? I don't know. I think it must have just been that I had a piece of extra paper. Let me, let me think, think this through a little bit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, it's an odd number. So it's five inches across, and then it is four and three quarter inches uh, deep, four and three quarter inches deep. Um, you're going to score a half inch. So you're going to wind up a half inch on the left and right along the five inch side. So you're going to wind up with um, a pocket that's four inches wide after you put your um, flanges in. I call it a flange because it's not operating as a hinge. Um, so you've got a little pocket here and it could be did I mess that up already oh you guys I'm just scrambled don't put that down yet We're, I'm gonna use this whole pattern underneath it so don't put it down I'm hoping I can lift it because I didn't burnish it it goes there we're just gonna put some pattern under it sorry looks like it's gonna come up for me Yay. Ta-da. Okay, now we're going <laughs> to lay this design paper in before I accidentally do something and repurpose it. Yeah, it looks like I've already inked it. I had to look closely because it, it wasn't obvious. 
I hope everybody's doing good. We had a little cool weather hit us, and then it warmed right back up again today. So, oh, I'm excited. I'm uh, Tomorrow is Friday here, and I am going to go to a retreat in uh, Mission Valley, San Diego Mission Valley, at the Handlery Inn. So I'm kind of excited about that. It's always nice to be around other people that are, you know, share share your hobby or business or both. <laughs> I haven't been to one in quite a while. And a couple of my good friends are going to be there. So that's, that's awesome. And my sister is going to come down and meet me for lunch. So all good. Good grief, it's time to clean my tip. Here it comes. It's also time to fill my bottle. Oh, by the way, um, it's that time again, guys. If you don't have your art glitter glue, get on over to scrapandcreate.com. Get your glue ordered before it gets too cold for us to ship um, to uh, the northern states. Um, and even sometimes in the south, depending on what kind of winter we have. But it won't be long, so stock up. We have it in stock. I think Julie put that in our shout out as well. If you are subscribed to the site, um, you should get an email once or once every month or so with kind of highlights. You know what we what's new what's been released and, uh, and reminders, like if it's time to stock up on your glue. Okay. This is going to be the liner. I think I got to think about it. The pocket. So let's go ahead. Oh, I have two pockets. That's not right. That's not right. I should only have one. So here's what I think I did. You can see this one's a little bit wider. I was trying to decide if I wanted to accommodate this on a tag, which is wider than the cards. So, boop, boop, boop. I think I wound up settling on this because of the flap that I'm going to install afterwards. So we're going to use the narrower of the two. Again, this is going to go flush. Okay. Now I'm going to put a small gap here. This is a six by eight, six by eight. You're going to score a half inch. We're going to install this so that it's flush on the right hand side. And you'll see there's a little bit of a gap, about a half inch. And the reason I want to do that is, um, when you have a pocket right here and a flat and a hinge, it can interfere if they're butted up next to each other. Uh, it doesn't want to naturally close without creating a, a bend in this. And if you've got photos on that, that can be problematic. So I like to have a little space here. It doesn't have to be um, much. A quarter inch would do it. Um, I don't know why I did it so wide. Probably just so it's a, a nice even number, six by eight. Because I know if it's... Yeah. Anything under six, I know I can use part of a 12 by 12. I don't have to use the whole thing. Pretty sure this goes here. And I've got, I'm going to have a very small flap that gets installed. Let's go ahead and do this one right now. So this is three and a half by eight, three and a half by eight. I'm going to score a half inch on the three and a half inch side. So it's a very narrow. Um, flap so it's really kind of used to close um, the pocket. Turn it sideways so I can see end to end. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is what I oh, no, nope, that's not wide enough. So it must be something else. Maybe I don't have that paper trimmed out yet. Um, and this is going to go in like so. So I'm going to go ahead and trim 
this paper down. It's rough cut. I need to trim it down. I thought I had more of my papers picked out. I apologize. side. Okay. We'll get some ink on here. Okay, again, this is six by eight score half inch on the six inch side. So you'll have a five and a half inch pattern. Uh, I think this is what I was, why I was, yeah. I was going to put two pieces here. That's why it's a little different than I was expecting. Okay, so now I want to make a decision about if I want the gold on top or on the bottom. I like it down here. What do you guys think? I think you agree. So let's put this came off of, I had a sheet. Um, so this, there's a sheet. <laughs> that has this and one part of it has this on it and I trimmed it off. Uh, yeah, let me see what the back of this is. Okay, so I think it's on, I'm pretty sure it's on the, um, this pattern comes in the patterns and solids or the backgrounds, but it also comes in the scrapbook pack. So in the scrapbook pack, the flip side has this window in it I'm sorry, I keep turning that upside down. It has this window in it with a sash. And on uh, one side of this pattern, you have this. And that's where I trimmed this gold strip from. I did it because I was thinking I was going to use this for something. I still might, but just not on this page. So where the pattern broke on the page, I, I just cut them into slices. So I'd have these like little ribbons to work with. Borders, I guess you'd call it a border. Oops. All right. Okay, now this goes in here. Okay, now I'm not going to do this just yet because uh, I know I need a magnet. I also need to trim it. And I, I've got to figure out what we're doing with our magnets yet. Okay, you guys saw me use, there it is, the pencil. What did I do with it? Just going to ink it and get it ready. Okay, so the, the question about where the magnet goes, I'm going to just put a magnet on here to actually hold the paper in place while we make this decision. So um, the next thing I want to do on this page is I'm going to add a panel. And that panel is four and a half by six and three quarters. Four and a half by six and three quarters. It's going to get installed like so. And it's going to come out over this flap. So the question is, do I want my page to close like this, with this red here, or do I want my page to close like this with another pattern here? And this is what I think I want. So that helps me quite a bit. That means that really what I want is for my magnet to be over here and under here. 
So yeah, so the next thing I'll need to do, so we can go ahead and glue this strip down. All that talking and that's what it means is we can glue this strip down. We're not gonna put a magnet on the black here. It's gonna go on what I call the extender, that, that mat that we cut out, which again is four and a half by six and three quarters, four and a half by six and three quarters. So now I have to find, I thought I had something trimmed out for this, but I don't see it. This, I'm going to create a little clearance. So I'm going to back it up just a little bit off this space. So I don't want it to go right into the hinge. I want it to lay down a little bit flatter. So I'm going to bump out about an eighth of an inch, which is half of a quarter, so it's not a whole lot. And that's, you know, all you want to do. It doesn't have to be, um, you don't have to worry about it being perfect, right? Uh, as long as everything closes for you. So now I know I want to add this flap extension and have it close. I'd say right about there. Once we get that decision made, we can put our designer paper down here. See, that, that little detail keeps it from looking just like too much, right? So I think originally what I was planning on doing too, and I have to keep rethinking this, was I was going to put two pictures here, and then I went, I changed my mind and decided just one. B both would look fine. This is the insert that goes in this pocket, and it is three and three quarter by seven and a half. Three and three quarter by seven and a half. And that should be uh, the right size to accommodate the cutouts. Yeah. So I'll probably um, select a cutout and then just add some pattern on the bottom. I haven't decided exactly what I want to do. And I still have to pick a pattern for here as well. I have to pull back in page four to figure out what I want to do here. Um, as far as which card to select. But go ahead and trim that out. Man, my hands are not working today. And the next thing we'll do is figure out what we're going to do for this pattern. So 
was thinking about this pulling this pattern back in it's this both of them are very busy so it's it might be really difficult to introduce another pattern this is going that direction it's directional so I'm kind of fussing around with see if I've got some pieces that I can make work without cutting through another large piece Trying to decide if I want a color block. I kind of like that. I also think it would look good here. So a color that I could pull in is to try to play up this gold a little bit. So I'm going to look at... Um, a print that has sort of the browns in it and see if I can't make that work. Mm, I, don't, I don't like it. That's too busy. It's on the flip side. That's going the wrong direction. A shame. So I think I'm going to have to cut this down. Is it going right? No, it's not going the right way. One of these is. Do you know? Okay. This is the last piece I have for. Okay, I'm going to cut this down. So it's going to go here, and we know we need to put a magnet there. So I'm going to go ahead and add it right here so I don't forget. So now um, I want to get rid of that pocket because I don't need it. Figure out um, what this is going to look like when it's open because um, I want this to all kind of flow. So this is where I really need to make, ideally these two would be the same pattern. And I think I might want this pattern here. So you've got this and this, which I like. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. So I think yeah, this will work. I think it's gonna be they're both in the wrong direction these actually go like that but it's not that big of a deal and this one's just a little too short so what to do I think I think what I'll do is I'll just use this piece even though it's going the wrong direction. It's that or I have to color block. And I think I'd rather have a single piece because it's not very big. So let's do that. Let's cut this one down. 
hopefully all that made sense to you guys. It's just kind of decision making on the fly. <clears throat> and I know I'm doing a lot of this online that I usually do offline. But I, like I said earlier, I'm having a day and I'm really pressed for time to get out the door tomorrow. Okay. Sometimes I mark it and then <laughs> I turn to trim it and I can't find the mark. Doesn't seem right. Yeah, it is three. Okay. So when you have the backgrounds and the collection pack, there's a few pages where this the pattern is in both the scrapbook and the backgrounds so in this case this pattern we had three copies of it um, which is kind of nice which is one of the reasons why I decided to do such a complicated layout is because I knew I had um, three 12 by 12s to work with uh, of this pattern so it goes a long way um, in terms of you know stretching the design out to add extra flaps and features without introducing yet another pattern. Um, and because their patterns are fairly sophisticated, um, layering too much can, can be just that, too much. I really like this and I'd like to figure out how to pull it back in. Now this we're only going to see half of. I, there's just not a lot of this. I wish there was a whole page of this, but there isn't. What is there? No, that's way lighter. There we go. This is it. So this is... Four and a half, so we'll do two and a quarter. Two and a half. I don't want to waste the part that's going to just be glued to the back if I don't have to. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is glue this down. I want it centered, I'm just eyeballing it. I think that looks pretty darn close. So I know the glue goes on this side. Now we can add our magnet and then cover it.
Okay, turn this back down. So it actually wound up being two inches. Not really directional, but it's preference. I like it better this way. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! Yay! So far, I'm liking that. Okay, now we're going to... I preserved this because I think I'm going to put it on the bottom of here. On the bottom of this, along with the card of my choice, which I haven't chosen yet. And then here, we're going to reintroduce this blue. And this is four inches, so it needs to be three. Mm, how tall is it? Four and a quarter. So one, two, three, four. So four and a half. Yeah, looks good. So when I first put it over here, I was like, oh, it's just not, you know, it's too kind of dull. But then when you cut it down to size, you're like, oh, yeah, that's going to work. If it was much bigger than this, I think it just wouldn't do it justice. Scale. It's all about scale. I have to look at which way I put the pattern. This is the way I put it. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. Um... It's actually upside down. You can see based on this, it's supposed to go this way. Oh, yeah, I put it right on the side. I was, um, I was about to put it in upside down. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's that. And then we've got our little insert here. I want to keep this, putting this back in so I don't forget about it. And then this opens. So I'm going to reintroduce that blue here. And here if I have enough. I'm not sure I will. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will because I think I have more sheets of this. Yeah, I should have another sheet of that. Well, I guess I don't. What did I use it on? I should have had two. I guess I used it on. Oh, it's on page one. That's why. It's on page one. Uh, so I might have some scraps that I can leverage. I'm definitely going to put this here. And if I have to introduce something different here, that's fine. I might just pull this back in. I've got plenty of that. 
but I definitely want the two ends to match. That's my current thought process. So I'm going to trim this down to eight, seven, seven, eight. Now, because we installed this flap on top of this pocket, I've got this extra piece here. I'm going to actually cut a piece of the designer paper to go there and then the balance will come across. So it's usually like three eighths of an inch. Let me tell you what it looks like. But I, I usually pencil it. Yeah, just a little over three eighths of an inch. So that'll go here. Gonna, I'm going to put it down before I lose it <laughs> or cut it or throw it away. All right, we're getting there. It's a new ink pad, it's very juicy. Look at her. What's left? Too short. Too small. <clears throat> nope. Wrong pattern. So that's all no. Here's my other scraps. I usually kind of bundle them by size. So I can be wide enough. Nope, not long enough. All right, well, based on that, maybe what I'll do is pull this back in. I'm going to test it. I'm not sure I'm going to like it, but I'm going to cut it down and we're going to look at it. When it's in that scale, it doesn't look right, but you might be able to work with it. I like it. Yeah, I'm liking it. Sometimes you just have to be brave and cut the paper. When I look at that big sheet, though, it's like, oh, that's too overwhelming. So sometimes you just got to test, do a test drive and hope, and hope it works out. Okay, we're just about done. 
we have two inserts to do now. Yikes. So remember, this is the top of a pocket, right? So that's a pocket, and it goes all the way down. So that pocket is seven and three quarters inch deep, but it goes all the way up to 10 inches. So we're going to want a nice large insert, and it should be, I'm going to do seven and three quarters. So it's got some wiggle room. Seven and three quarters by eight and three quarters. Okay. Seven and three quarters by eight and three quarters. Okay, then we got this lovely little thing and I might even use one of these strips for the top of it. I don't know. I haven't decided. But I'll leave that there so I don't forget about it. Ah, it's coming right along. Let's get this taken care of. I don't really want to reintroduce this because it's so bold. So I've got to think about what to do. Let's look at our cards and see what kind of choices we have. So part of it is, it's going to, some of it, this doesn't, some of these will have partially, you know, you won't see the whole thing. I kind of like this because this greetings part is, is totally exposed. So let's go ahead. Let's do it. Let's jump in. Later on, if I decide I don't like it, I can swap out a card, right? It's real simple to do. So I'm going to put this on here. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Ooh, that's really pretty. It doesn't really show though. That's very pretty. But Good news is we have another one, so I can use that side someplace else. I could even use it on the flip side of this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save it for something else. Okay. Now, I want to extend this because I don't want all of this card to drop down to here, right? Because um, that would all be in the pocket. That's why I want this extension on the bottom. And I think I want to use the red. It's going to be in the pocket, so it doesn't really matter. We have the red or the blue. Blue it is. Now, of the scraps that I have for the this pattern, this pattern, and this pattern, I think I'm going to make a collage on the large piece. On that, the large insert. So um, I don't have to cut through another uh, 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm going to um, get all my scraps and lay it out and see if I can get it covered. And if I can, that's what it'll be. That insert will be a collage of all the patterns. And then probably just black on the other side until I get done with the album and know how much I have left over. So this will go in here. Okay. 
Here we go. Greetings and everything good. It's all kind of in this gold tone, which pulls this gold tone back in. I like it. And then um, I got a whole box of goodies that I haven't even really started going through. So I'm likely to put something here. Could even just be um, an, like an ornament or a Christmas something. Don't know yet. Uh, I like to finish the album and then come back and then place my embellishments. So that is what I'm going to do. So now the last thing is this large insert. And like I said, I'm, I think I'm going to do that offline because that's going to take some while. Collages take a little bit of time because you have to stop, trim, stop, trim. But that's it for page four. So while we're here, let me clean up our visual space and then I will pull in... Um, I mean, this is page five. I'll pull in page four so you can look at it. If I can figure out what I did with it. <laughs> I'll put it somewhere. There it so there they are, page four and five. I like it. I like it. I think this is pretty. So that really lent itself to this and I had forgotten I'd use that so and this is perfect for you know a nice large photo or a four by six with you know you'll have a substantial border around it so I think it's real pretty yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that I'll be back later and our next page is page six page six <laughs>